Hey, what's up guys? Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to record yourself presenting a PowerPoint presentation. So how to have this talking head and then be able to have your presentation in front of you and record it. It can come in handy for if you're in the office or maybe you're making YouTube videos or maybe you're creating a course. This will come in handy for you guys. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. If you're new to my channel, I like to talk about print on demand and make money online. So check out all of my channel's videos. There's definitely going to be some things that can help you guys out. Please give this video a like for me, comment below any questions you have and make sure you hit subscribe. So how to record yourself presenting a PowerPoint presentation? Let me show you the screen capture device that I'm using to be able to do this and that you can download for free. Okay guys, so there's a lot of ways that you can record your face and capture the screen at the same time. But most of those uh, methods are paid and that's why I want to make this video because it is actually a free one. So the, what I'm using is called OBS, so Open Broadcast Software, and I'll show you guys how you can download it completely free. So if we just go to Google and just put in OBS, you can see here it's called Open Broadcast Software. And all you do is if you can just put in uh, download and then it's got download OBS just here, we'll click on that. Now what comes up is the three different types that you can use. So that's obviously Windows, that's obviously Mac, which I am. So Mac is the one that I will click on. And then once I click on that, it's just going to download the installer. Then you download the installer. Now with this, some people are like worried about downloading things off the internet. This is one of the most common, you know, screen recording things that is out there. If you look on YouTube or anywhere, all the gamers, everyone uses uh, OBS. It's completely safe to download, so don't worry about that at all. And obviously, I've got a download on my computer. I'm showing you right now. As you can see there, that's the OBS symbol I'm recording right now. This is completely safe, no problem. So don't worry about you know downloading it and being having any sort of issues. So once you've downloaded it, you're obviously going to get this screen, and then it'll be downloaded down here to the bottom left. And you'll just click on that, which will open it, and it'll start initializing. And um, you'll probably get a thing that comes up that says about, are you sure you want to download this from the internet? Click yes. As I said, it's completely safe. And then it'll pretty much set itself up straight away. And what will happen is you'll have the OBS thing up here. And when you do screen records, they will save to here. I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is what OBS looks like, and as you can see, it's capturing my screen, which is showing it capturing my screen, which is showing it capturing my screen, which is why it looks the way it does. So all you do to do that is you can either right click on the screen and add a display capture. So that would capture your display just like it says. So that's the display that you can see on here. And obviously I already have mine going. And then the next one, is audio input capture and that's to get my voice obviously as you can see that recording here so that's all that is and then the next one is for video capture and that'll be this front camera capturing my face so then you've just got to allow OBS to be able to um, interact with that obviously your computer will put up prompts and you just accept them and then you can uh, capture your face and capture your screen just like this so another way of doing that is just pressing the plus sign here. So it'll bring up the same thing. And there's a lot of things you can do on OBS. This is why a lot of gaming streamers use it because you can put up things like uh, you can have, you know how a lot of people will have subscribe and it'll come up with a notification bell and like a tick and stuff like that. You can have those put up on your screen at the same time. And a lot of gamers will have things like that and their sponsors up on screen while they're broadcasting on Twitch or YouTube, etc. So that's how they do it. They use something like this. A lot of them do use OBS though. So I know I went through that quickly, but all you're going to do is have a scene here. So press the plus, it'll be a scene. Then you come over, press plus here, and it'll bring up to capture your display. So you'll click on this, and then you'll have exactly what I've got there, display capture. Then you'll click on it again and go to video capture, which is that one there. So video capture device to get that front camera like I was saying and also you'll do audio input capture so that you can capture your voice and that is honestly it then you'll come over here and you'll hit start recording obviously this is recording at the moment so it'll come up stop recording so that I'll stop but the next thing that you can look at is settings so there's quite a few settings with OBS that you can play around with but this is the basics that I've shown you so far and this is all you will actually need to be able to record your presentation in PowerPoint 
So if we just go back to Google here, Google Chrome, and then we're in the PowerPoint and we just go to present. Now you can see I am recording my PowerPoint while talking to you, talking to the camera. So then I would just click through my PowerPoint and then so on with this and you can make professional ones for your office or maybe for your YouTube channel or whatever it is that you want to do, maybe just for fun and create professional PowerPoints just like this. So nice and easy guys. So let's say you finish recording your PowerPoint and finish with your video so you hit stop recording. Where do your videos go? This is a common question. So if you want them to go to a specific place, you go to settings here and we're just gonna go to video or is it output? So it is output guys, so recording path. So I have mine set to go to my desktop. So then any of my OBS recordings, once they stop, they save to the desktop and I know exactly where they are. You could obviously open a new file for them and just have specific OBS recordings go there or whatever. And I also have mine saved to MP4 because obviously MP4 is quite handy for pretty much any video format like uploading to YouTube, etc. Now, as I said before, there are other settings that you can do for OBS. I'm not going to get so much into that in this video, but you can play around with like video and output. But this guide's just going to be for how to record yourself presenting a PowerPoint presentation. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, comment down below any questions that you have, and please hit subscribe.